Hi everyone, this is June Maog, a math and science high school teacher from the Philippines. For this video entitled, Amp Up Your Interactive Activities with Google Drawings, I'll be discussing how you can use Google Drawings to create engaging and interesting activities for your students. The flow of the video will be as follows. First, I will be giving a brief description of Google Drawings, and then I'll be listing down some of the benefits of using Google Drawings, and then I'll be showing you examples of actual Google Drawings outputs that I have already used in my classes. And finally, I will walk you through how to use Google Drawings. So what is Google Drawings? Google Drawings is the secret weapon of awesome teachers everywhere. It's a simple tool that is incredibly powerful for creating engaging and interactive activities for your classes. And I have listed here four benefits of using Google Drawings, and I'm sure as you keep using Google Drawings, you will come up with many more benefits than this. So the first one is you are able to easily create drag and drop exercises, hotspots, quizzes, and games. So let me just focus on what hotspots are. Hotspots are actually um, interactive images. So the second benefit is the versatility in creating a wide variety of educational resources like graphic organizers. And of course, um, the third one is the ease of use. I've already mentioned how simple the interface of Google Drawings is. The last benefit is, of course, accessibility. As long as you have an uh, internet service, you can easily access Google Drawings. If you have a Google account, then uh, automatically you will be able to access uh, Google Drawings for free. I'd like to show you some sample outputs that I've actually used in my classes. So this is a timeline. And this one, this is actually um, an interactive activity, just a short activity uh, before we started the discussion, just to check um, how much the students already know. And uh, these are other interactive activities. I'll give you a copy of these files so that you can revise and edit as needed in, for your own classes. So let's now go to how to use Google Drawings. So the first step, of course, is to go to Google Drawings. So how do we go to Google Drawings? If you have your Google Drive already open, you can just click on the new button, then more, then choose Google Drawings. The second way that you can access Google Drawings is by opening a new tab and then typing in drawings.google.com. Or if you want to go directly to creating a new drawing, then just type in drawings.new. And then once you are in Google Drawings, you can start creating using the simple intuitive interface. So let's uh, head on over to Google Drawings. First time you see Google Drawings, you might wonder how you can do anything with just a really simple interface with the really few buttons to use. But uh, I'm sure once you have created something with Google Drawings, you will learn to love using it. So let me just show you how I was able to create. So I just got a... Um, an image that I can copy uh, as I do the demo. So the first thing I need to do would be these the parts. So this is obviously an activity where you will be um, dragging and dropping the parts to the appropriate location in the compound microscope. So let's let me first start with the parts. So uh, the first thing that you need to do. So again, if you go to if you go to the tabs, you will see their file edit view insert format arrange tools intuitively. You will know you need to go to the insert tab. And uh, you would need to choose text box. But you can also, let me exit from there, you can also just choose this um, icon, the text box icon, and click on it. So this is the shortcut. So don't, you don't have to um, click on the tab. And uh, there you have it. Then just uh, type in IPs. And from here, you can just do the formatting that you need. If you want to make the text bigger, if you want to change the font size, let me choose Poppins. And if you like to make it bold, and if you'd like to center it, so that's how that's how easy it is. So let me center it vertically. All right. And then if you'd like to put like um, a fill to this, you can do that. Just click on the text box, click on the fill color icon, and then choose the fill that you would like. There, the fill color. And if you're happy with that, then that's fine. But you can also probably put the border around it. And the weight would depend on how uh, how thick you want your lines to be. So you're, I'm happy with this. Then you can just continue um, with all of the other parts. But the easiest way to do this would be to just duplicate. So I just click on the existing formatted text box and Control D or Command D, depending on the device you're using. All right. So this is the eyepiece. And let me now type in tube. 
and uh, you get the idea. Just keep doing this until you complete the parts. You can actually change the size of your working area. So if you click on File, Page Setup, then um, by default, the standard is chosen, but you can choose the widescreen and you can even do a custom size. So let me just choose the widescreen and apply. And uh, this is how it will look like. So it's, it gives you just a wider area to work with. And um, let's now attach this image. So go to, just go to insert, now insert tab and then pick image. Or you can just go to this um, insert image icon. So I just click on it and I can either upload. Now if I, ha if I have my image in my hard drive, I click on upload, but I don't have. So I just go and click search the web and you will see that here on the right side, actually uh, you'll be able to search from within Google Drawings, you don't have to open a new tab and go to Google search. So let me just type in compound microscope. And you will be given several options. Let me just pick the first one and insert. All right, so now I have this image. I can just uh, resize it. Click on the corner so that you won't destroy the aspect ratio. And then the last thing that you would need to do, of course, would be to put your instructions. So let me just So this is um, just a very rough example of you know what you can do with Google Drawings. And so um, as you give this to your students, then they can just uh, start dragging and dropping at will. So um, the eyepiece, where should the eyepiece be, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, you see that uh, maybe you can also probably format your image. So you can just right click and click on order and send it to the back so that the labels would automatically be on front there. So that's how easy it is uh, to use Google Drawings. So before I go back to my presentation, let me show you how you can download it. So by just clicking on File, Download, and then you can choose either one, uh, either one of the following: PDF, JPEG, PNG, SVG. Let me pick just JPEG, and then that's uh, automatically stored in your hard drive. So now I'm back at my presentation. I can just very quickly pull that in. So I go to my um, there you go. So I just went to my um, downloads folder. Uh, and uh, I now you can see that you can very quickly uh, put your um, finished output from Google Drawings into your presentation. All right. So for more content like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, June's Circle. Thank you. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something new. If you have questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below. Bye.